Alright, check out this email I just got. Brett, my name is Kyle. I'm a 16 year old skater and graduate center for my own skate brand. Recently, I was listening to your interview with Silk Steve about your says, blah, 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 blah. That being said, what step or steps do you think I should take first in getting my brand legit? It would be awesome to hear back from you. Kyle. Okay, Kyle, today is your lucky day, and I am going to dedicate today's whole video to answer your email. But in order to do this, I need to buy something first. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Okay, this is the 10 steps. Okay, step one, brand message. What you want your brand to portray is crucial when creating a lifestyle brand. Hence why it is number one. Step two name and logo. Now using the information you decided in step one, you want to use this to create a name and a logo that properly represent your brand. Step three, accountant and lawyer. Having a good accountant and lawyer is extremely important even if you're a very small business. You don't want to lose your business because of tax evasion or because someone is trying to sue you. By my second year in business, someone tried suing me but luckily we came to an agreement and it wasn't too big of an issue. Step four, Get stickers. Stickers are the cheapest and easiest way to start building hype for your brand. Step five, website. There are plenty of website templates like Big Cartel, Wixel, Squarespace, Shopify that are all extremely easy and cheap to use. Step six, get product. If you're starting off with less than a couple thousand dollars, I'd recommend learning to sew and making your first couple products yourself. Also t-shirts. Go to your local screen printer and look to get some shirts made. They're relatively cheap to make and everyone always needs new t-shirts. Number seven. Sales. Once you have a little collection together, go to all your local shops and give them a reason why they should carry it and why you think it would sell. Number eight. Reinvest. Cash flow is extremely important when owning a business. Make sure you have a business account separate from your personal account and do not touch that money for at least a couple of years. Number nine, distribution. Especially if you're an American brand, distribution overseas is so important. Once things are going well here in America, that's where you take it to the next step and start taking over the world. And number 10, have fun. Be passionate and do not forget to always have fun. to love
7, 10 p.m. now. On my way to meet up with the Fortune Squad. We're supposed to meet up at 6.30. Running just a little bit late. Fortune Squad right now, having some drinks, and Jordan is gonna explain what we're doing here. We posted a photo by Rickstagram the other day. This photo. Brett texted Frank and I and was like, yo, what should we caption this? And we couldn't decide on one, so we decided, you know what, let's just have a contest for caption. That we're gonna give out some hats for it, right? Yeah, well initially, we haven't even announced yet, it's gonna be one winner, but we just decided now we're each gonna pick a winner since there were there were 259 I think yeah no there's 260 now 200 someone else just counted just. and they're still coming in so there's 260 comments so we were like all right there's too many of them like just one winner doesn't really work there also there are a lot of good ones there are a lot of bad ones but there are a lot of good ones and so we're sitting down and we're gonna go over them and, and we're gonna announce it we're gonna announce it real soon we're gonna announce it what tomorrow tonight. Tonight. We'll announce and it then tonight. We'll ship them out. Do you have your winner yet? No, not even. Dude, I've only gone through like 50 of them. <laughs> Do you have your winner yet? I have my winner. Oh, oh no. Uh, this is a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> got like some lean in the background or something. <laughs> Commented D's nuts. Capital D, just to make sure. I like it. Because some came in the mail today. These nuts. <laughs> Got Mine is. I feel weird saying it because, like, it's funny when I'm looking at the photo and read it. But I'm gonna pick when you're about to get off work, but your boss asks you to stay another hour. Ooh, that's a good one. What's yours? Okay, mine is by Fiend to Fakey. I just <laughs> hold my beer. <laughs> Yeah, hold my beer. You win. He went and got out of here. Yes. Alright, mine's Jordan. Like, mine's by Shredman. And it's I should have worn a helmet. <laughs> like, Shout out Shredman. Josh Cats, yeah. Shout out to Josh. I'm putting that in the video. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> Shout out Josh Cats. Good. Yeah. Hey, oh. 